Hello, I'd like to welcome one and welcome back to one turn. Today we're going to take a look at how to build yourself a base. Because you've been out there for a while, you need a place to set up camp. A place to store your stuff so that you don't have to lug around all those unpleasant materials. Or maybe you just want to grow some crops, settle in the wilderness next to the sea. Have at your discretion everything you need. That can be a bit of a... Oh, I'm picking that up. That can be a bit of a task. Because, uh... It ain't easy setting a base. It takes a bit of, uh, material. It takes, uh... takes some supply, some preparation. Some oversight. Now, the things you really want for any base... Is you want an axe and a handsaw. You can find a handsaw very easy at these places, which are called construction sites. Yeah, construction sites are identifiable because you'll find things like... I don't know things. You'll just you'll, you'll find things like axes there, alright? Nope, I don't even want this dough bro, it kinda sucks. I'd rather have this bow. Compound bow is pretty cool. I'll pick up those arrows. Um so I want to set up shop. The first thing you need is an axe. The second thing you'll need and these aren't suggestions. You will want these a lot. The second oh, wait, wait, those I don't even care. Let's just pretend we never saw anything. Oh yeah, we're over here. The next thing you'll want is a handsaw. And the handsaw doesn't saw trees. But it's very useful. And the last thing you want is a door. And a door is made with bolts, so you want to pick up some bolts when the opportunity strikes you. Oh, it fires like the crossbow does, does it? I thought, I thought it had draw like the other one, but I forgot compound bow means you don't have to reload. Neat. Sure remember that. So I went around a bit, had myself a little adventure, picked up the required supplies. Now I have the materials necessary. So we're going to go over there, you know, out in the wilderness. We're going to find ourselves a place with a couple of rocks. We'll set up shop. Make ourselves nice and cozy. Katana is probably one of the best weapons in the game. Because it will one-shot almost anything. And if it doesn't one-shot, then just use a power attack. A magnum. It's an interesting drop. I don't know what it is with me and picking up duct tape. So, yeah, for the door you'll need bolts, which is the only foreign component here. See, you can get some hand saws in these containers. Uh, this is Alberton. Just found over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not too difficult to find. Like I said, almost everything is in a T section, so you just follow the main road and you'll eventually reach some place that leads to some place. Are you kidding me, fucking Spiscovia? Outfield, you are out. That was not what I wanted to do. I'll take this, pull off the bayonet, and then I want to drop it. I don't think I can pick it up though, because it's too heavy. Sorry, no space. Oh, whatever, I'll just drop a map. I don't need a map. So I can't pick it up, but I'm very much on my limit. Empty anyway, I don't really care about empty ones. Gotta have your vitamins. <sighs> you know what? Let's, let's put this one over here. Let's watch that out for the Beretta. And we'll have three space for instantaneous medicinal, medicinal application. Always oh, pick up cloth. We'll need cloth, actually. Uh, we do need some cloth pretty soon. What well, we need the cloth for, you might ask. Well, my dear sir, Esquire, we will need that cloth for something that I like to call fertilizer. Because I'm not building any sort of base. The base I build will have a little bonus feature attached to it. It will have a farm on top. So we didn't have to concern ourselves with that little detail. Just clearing out the town a bit. Getting the experience, because I do think that I want to get Craftsman Level 2, which is important, and you'll learn why that's important soon enough. Because in order to make the good storage supplies, you will need Craftsman Level 2. So now that we have our basic tools, we have the axe, the fireman axe, also a bunch You can also use a chainsaw. Um, I think the chainsaw is just a continuous fire. There's a little rock. Uh, you don't need much scrap. You can find scrap. Typically, what you, what you want scrap for is for, for arrows, because you need nails, or for doors. Uh, one rock is more than enough. Uh, I don't know, I, don't, I, never, I never find myself needing scrap for large constructions. It's often trees that, that require such attention. So that's alright. We'll build a nice, a nice cozy hovel up on the hill. Because that's the kind of person we are, alright? I hope that all, that all suits you. There's no food up here. Which means we're going to have to hunt. But there's a reason why I have a pickaxe. Why well, I said I didn't, you don't really need a pickaxe, I said. I said you don't need a pickaxe, but you do. There's one thing you want to build at your base. And it's something that you just cannot build elsewhere that easily. And it's this little thing that science has dubbed a campfire. A campfire is, you can't pick up stuff in this game. When you pick it up, you picked it up. When you place it down, you placed it down. And when you place it down, it's stuck. You can't move it ever again. And that's a big, big, big oof. That sure is a big oof. So we're going to we're gonna plop down what we don't need so that we have some weight to play with. Don't worry, this, st this stuff will be here. 
let's just concern ourselves with our construction. We're gonna need about 20 logs to build a basic outpost. Don't pick up any sticks, they don't really matter all that much for your operation. Because we have a handsaw, we can turn logs into boards into sticks, which is a very fast and efficient procedure. But you can, you can pick up a couple of them up, I guess. But pick them up in, in bunches of four, because often bunches of four is what does the trick. So how many logs do we have? Three. It's actually another reason of picking up twigs, sticks, twigs. Okay, we have about seven of them. Not too close to my weight limit. We can keep going. We can keep going. Luckily, I have this. I picked this up. You can activate your hat-related item, be it night vision goggles or the farmer's hat, with a simple couple of steps. Pick up some of that. And we'll pick up this. You have ten. We're getting there. We're getting there. Can I upgrade my outdoor skill? Because that would kind of help. Hmm, I could go for a couple of berries. Ah, I love green berries. Picking up logs, picking up logs. I might not have the space for all the logs. So I might have to put down the foundation earlier than I wanted to. So, every log can be turned into a wooden frame. And the wooden frames are used for the foundation of your building. And the foundation? Well, it's a foundation, you might ask. I'll tell you what a foundation is. A foundation is the home of your hearth. Take those, you plop them in there, and now you have a foundation. The foundation is probably where you will start and finish your base from. I want to put this somewhere where it sits nice and cozy at the top of a, of a polygon. It's kind of hard, and it seems that the trees occupy every single... Wait, 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 I can put it here. I can put it... But then there's grass in it, and that looks kind of ugly. That looks fugly. We'll live with it. <sighs> okay, um... Okie do... You know what? You know what? Let's turn those sticks into something useful. Let's go and mine ourselves a rock, make ourselves a campfire, and we'll turn that... Lovely raw bacon. Now bacon will actually just give you some sickness. You can eat it, but again, cooking stuff, purifying it, it makes it healthier. That is a stone. I need rocks. Rocks can be turned into this, similar to similar to logs, basically. And then we put two and two together and make a campfire, and then we equip the campfire. We put it down in our home and hearth. And we turn it on, and we have this. And now when we stand here, we have this little thing, and we plop it on. And we can make ourselves some freshly cooked bacon. That's mighty tasty. I'm going to have to look at my uh, notes a bit, because uh, I kind of forgot everything I need. Okido, let's actually start with converting our materials. We're going to need a platform. Uh, a quick thing. You put the saw in here. It's also a tool, which you got to turn this on first. And then you do this. You make some rope. You put that away. You put some here. You put some there. You put that away. And now we'll have some fertilizer, which is important because we need this. And well, we, we just we just convert the lot of this so that we can, because we don't need raw logs. Okay, let's make those pillars first. Oh, well, you know what? You know what? How about we make something else first? One, two. Let's pick up one of those scare, spare, spare twigs that's still on the floor somewhere. Pick this one up. This is a branch. It's a weapon, but you can just uh, convert it if you must. And then you do this, and then you do this. Not there. Boom, boom, boom. And they drop this, because I want to have my exact numbers. And now we have a wooden ladder. It's important in a bit. It's not going to be important right now. Uh, it's for when the thing's done. Okay, the pillars. I need supports. I need four boards chopped up. One, two, three, four. Let me plop those here. One, two, three, four. Okay, okay. For whatever reason, supports weigh more than the sticks, so they're actually... they kind of crap. And then we need four boards, so we do this, and then we do this, and we make one, two, three, four. 
and then we pick them up from the ground, we put them in our hand, and this will stick to where you need to place it. If you want to, you can turn this into a post, which we actually don't want. Uh, posts are good for things like bridges or ramparts, which are half walls, effectively. Now I've got some pillars, look at this! We're making progress, we're reaching places, we're going people, we're meeting people. Okay, uh, now we need three plates. One, two, and then we need to put this out because three, and then we put this there. Then we need a cross, for which we need a saw. One of these will make us one cross, funnily enough. Pick them up, put them in there, and you get a cross. And then you put three plates and a cross together to make a platform. And now comes the sneaky bit, we put some fertilizer on it, and we get a greenhouse platform, which is super useful. This is how it works. Greenhouse platforms allow you to grow crops. But additionally, those crops grow at twice the regular speed, which is why we brought this ladder. So that now our base isn't just a place we can put our stuff and take shelter, it is also a place where we can grow our crops. We can go up here, we can have a little dance, go doo -doo 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 -doo, and put down some crops, which unfortunately I could not bring, which is why I went to this town, because this town has a, uh, a garden shop where we can acquire some seeds, you know, get our basics set up. Okie doke, the next thing we need is walls. For walls, we need pillars. Okie doke, how do we make pillars again? Pillars are made out of supports, so we need a couple of supports. Let's just make a bundle of sticks. I don't think we need. Then we take this, and then we take this. I need supports, not crosses. Thank you very much, Brain, for deciding to freak out for a moment. You are amazing. One, two, three. This, this. Okay, then we have those, and we need some boards, we plop them together. We need one, two, three, four. We technically need four. And then we put this together with frames, not boards. We need to mix them with frames. Let's go have a slice of that bacon. And then we'll have a drink of our canteen. Because once you get your farm going with a couple of uh, veggies, you'll be you'll be fine for the rest of the game. It's it's really not a big problem. I don't know if that's faster or not. It might be. I've never done the math myself. So I can't exactly tell you. Also, these trees appear easier to cut than those white trees. Like the, 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 sp the sparse trees. Uh, I don't know what you call them. The trees you use during Christmas. Or the Christmas trees. Okay, we plop those in our inventory. And we plop them here. We pop them out. We lock the pop. And we pop the lock. We need... S One, two, three, four. Oh, no. One, two, three... Four, that's two, we need eight, we need four, do we need that many frames, really? That's a lot more wood, I tell ya. And you can turn these, if you really want to, into ramparts, which are half walls, which are essentially what you need uh, the post for, so we'll put this here. Ah, uh, this house is starting to look like a like a dream. Look at this, we got walls, we have a place to put our crops, we're gonna have some storage soon, which is actually what those will be good for. I'm just gonna chop chop some more trees. Gotta make sure that we get everything we need. Setting up your first base. It, base building is a bit tedious in this game. It takes a lot of wood. Uh, there are places where wood is is is, is denser in, in quantity, which might be better. If you need, like, you want to set up something quickly. All in all, you don't really need a base. Any place suffices. You can just plop down some chests and, and work with that. And I'll also teach you how to make chests, because that's pretty nifty to know. Because you'll be wanting a couple of chests. You want some chests for your basic supplies. You want some chests for your... For anything, really. There's lots of reasons to want chests. Maybe you just want to plop your crap somewhere, and you're like, I don't want to carry this crap with me anymore. I don't need this maple strike, but I want to keep it because it's a rare spawn. Or maybe you find the timber timber lake wolf, and you'll be like, man, I like this timber lake wolf, but I don't want to take this wolf with me, and then you're like, no. 
So now we need to make another one of those damn walls. So we need to turn some logs into some of this. Just press control. We'll make one, two. Then we'll plop these together again. One, two. I forgot. You need two of It's kind of hard to do math sometimes. And we'll put these together. Then we'll turn some of this into some of to some of, some of this, and then we turn some of these, some of those, and we turn, put some supports with our wall, and then we get a wooden doorway. And if you put another support on it, you get a, a window. How do you make garage doors again? Gate. Garage. Garage port is a wooden window. Okay, so when you have a window, you can put another support and you get a garage, which is useful for if you want to park your car. We don't have a car to park right now, so we're just, now we need some board. So what do we need again? Do we need a frame or a... Uh, a frame. We need a frame, uh, which means that we do this. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. Why do I keep forgetting? I'm just not good at math, I guess. I guess I'm just not good at math. Now we take our door. You want to make sure that it's the way you want it to. I think right-handed, so I'm going to go with this one. And then you plop it down. And now you have got the coziest place in town. You've got everything your your little baby heart could require from life, I guess, in a sense. My inventory is full. I don't want to drop some of these supplies, because they're pretty important to me. Well, what possibly could I do? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There's an answer to your question. That is quite simple. First, you need this. In order to proceed, you need crafting level 1. You got that? You need crafting level 1 to make that crate. Crate is 4 inventory slots. Which I guess is good. Infinite weight. There's no weight limitations on it. Uh, another important thing to remember with uh, your is that the next step, which is a crate, is reinforced. The chest is reinforced. Nobody but you or people from your group can access this chest, but it comes with a big, big boon. Six slots. You can put a lot of nonsense in there. You can put your, you can put your miscellaneous ammo in it. Oh, look at that. You can put your fertilizer in it so you can instantaneously grow some crops. Oh yeah, you can put you can put your tools in there so that you don't need to lug them around when you're busy just traveling. And now we're gonna go pick up my stuff. We can carry my military supplies just like I need them. Cause you don't want to be carrying all that stuff around all the time, do you? You don't want to be carrying around what's important. I recommend that you only store boards and their successive products. Don't store twigs, supports, because you can make this really easy if you have a handsaw. But now you're thinking, I want to respawn point. I don't want to. I don't want to lug around all the time. So I'm gonna look this up. Uh, bed, a cot. It's a cot. Okay. Um, I don't have scrap metal, but I do have duct tape. So take two duct tape. You take seven cloth, and you can make yourself a sleeping bag. Uh, the only real difference between sleeping bags and cots. Uh, cots require five scrap metal and eight. Uh, and eight cloth and five scrap metal. But the only difference is that cots are more durable. Here, and now we claim it. And there we go. We have our own little house, but maybe you're like, hmm. I'm sorry, this just, it doesn't do it for me. I want something, I want a torch on the outside. I want to, I want to show everyone who the talk of town is. Oh, well, fine, fine, fine. We'll make you the talk of town. We'll make sure that everyone goes to you and says, hmm. That's a guy I want to hang out with. He's got torches on his damn house. That's amazing. I have never seen a torch like that in my life before. Put this on. You make some scrap, you make sure, if you don't have the fire, you'll make nails. If you use the, the saw, you'll get wire, which is useful for barbed wire. But we don't care about bites of fences because we're not close enough to zombies. Now you're going to need two of those, and you're going to need some sticks. This is why I say you want to you want to hold on to boards, you don't want to hold on to the other things related to boards. Because they're not as interesting. Wrong slot, sorry. We're going to combine two of those, and we should have eight bolts somewhere. Where the hell did my bolts go? Oh, there they are. And now we can make braziers, which are super neat because braziers are torches. 
you can put them down on the outside of your house, you can put them on top of your house, you can put them where the sun don't shine, kid. You can put them wherever you want to. And you put them down, and you flick them on, and you put them down, and you flick them on, and you put her down, right at the top of your house, because you're, you're the cool guy. You're the cool guy, but due to the way the lighting engine works, unfortunately for a lot of us, it actually has a few hiccups with uh, interior lighting. But look at that! You have your own neat little base. And now, you can say to everyone, look at what I got. Now, if you're having trouble finding handsaws, axes, or just some random bolts, or pickaxes, disconnect, reconnect, um, construction sites, large container crates, there's another construction site in Burywood. Uh, a bury wood behind the police station near the fire station is a construction site. You might find it there, but I recommend Alberton and uh, the, Char the Charlottetown because they both have really large construction site areas with plenty of spawn locations. Um, turn it on easy or hard for a couple of plays. You'll get some more drops. You might just get what you need. And yeah, that's it. You now have your own comfortable hovel in which you can relax and not worry about, you know, problems. Do warn. Be warned. Zombies will destroy anything you place. This goes from generators, to crops, to buildings. So, if you build it too close to a base, you're going to need some base defenses. And we're going to talk about longevity of bases, which includes base defenses, and food supplies next time. Because apparently people want to see this, and if they want to see it, then let them see it. Let them, let them have it, they say. If you want to make arrows, like I said, you just, you just take some... Uh, sticks. Well, we'll see that next time. Next time we're going to talk about how to make sure that you can keep on living. How to make sure that you always have what you need. Because this is a short-term solution to a long-term problem. You're going to want more storage space because you're going to find plenty of good stuff out there. Also, quick tip. That island over there is a military spawn. If you think you can hand a couple military zombies, then chop them down nice and quick. You're going to find plenty of military supplies there. And next time, we're going to talk about farming and base defenses. See you then.